Well, former college football coach Bill Curry worked with Tennessee legend Bobby Dodd at Georgia Tech. Yeah, Curry later became the head coach at Georgia Tech, the head coach at Alabama, and the head coach at Kentucky. He also started the Georgia, Tech, uh, Georgia State program. I'm honored to call him a friend and a mentor, and recently we talked about how sports and the way we treat teammates could help how we treat our neighbors. Talk a little bit about the huddle and what our world would look like if we lived like that. Well, it hit me after 911. I was working for ESPN at the time. The world had come apart in our minds, but nobody knew what was going to happen next. So ESPN ordered all of us to change the games that we were doing so that none of us were going to get on an airplane, none, none of the broadcasters. So instead of going wherever it was I was supposed to go, they changed me to an Alabama game. So I was going to drive four or five hours over to Birmingham. So I got to Atala, Alabama, and I stopped for gas. And this nice uh, service station attendant recognized me. He said, Coach, we're going to play the games uh, on uh, Saturday? I said, well, I don't know. But you may be the first fan in America to find out if this, my, this cell phone rings that's in my back pocket because I'm going to get a phone call between here and Birmingham to tell me to either go on and do the game or turn around and go home. Well, wouldn't you know, two or three minutes later it rings and I was told to go home. So I walked back up to the front of the station and he's behind the counter. So I leaned over and I said, hey, we're not playing. I'm getting ready to go home. I'll never forget his response. He leaned forward, he eyeballed me. His jugulars popped out and he said, well, let me tell you something, coach. Come Friday night in Natal, Alabama, we're going to play football because it means a lot to us. <sighs> Felt like I'd been punched in the stomach. He didn't mean any harm. He was just deadly serious. So I start driving home and I start praying, Lord, help me understand that. Why does it matter if we play a football game, a stupid football game in the United States of America? And we're under attack and we're in some kind of war here and we don't even know what the war is and we're calling off all our games now but in Atala, Alabama they're gonna play and it came to me so clearly well they're gonna play in College Park Georgia your hometown they're gonna play in Valdosta Georgia they're gonna play in Shreveport they're gonna play in Denver they're gonna play in upstate New York why because Friday night in America, that's when we huddle. That's when we sit together. We sit with the parents of the players on our, that huddle is a metaphor for America. And when you step in the huddle, it doesn't matter what color your skin is. It doesn't matter what your religion is. If you can contribute to the team, you're on the team. And when somebody's kid scores a touchdown, what do we do? We hug in the stands. We don't stop saying, oh, excuse me, what's your pigmentation? Let me see. I, mean, I might hug you. No, you just hug because somebody's kid just scored a touchdown. Wow. What if we did that on Sunday morning at 11? What if we did that all across America? We play football on Friday night. Yes, because we love the game. And yes, it's crazy. And yes, it has problems. But we also play because it's the huddle for America. And nobody gets left out anymore. Even girls can play now if they find a way. They can find a way. And so that's where that whole huddle thing came from. And it's America in our best dreams. The great Bill Curry. One of a kind. BillCurry.org. That gets me every time he tells that story. Incredible.